premium knee-later bobblehead night here at Coca-Cola Coliseum. It's also a next-gen game as the kids come rolling in. Great time to celebrate Nylander as well as he picked up his 30th of the season last night in Anaheim. And you have a lot of options there, Matt Laredo. Nick Patan sees otherwise, He's able to get it back here for the Marlies. Lilligren handcuffed a little bit. Kibby Hallmey likes to skate toward the goal. He does. He takes the shot. He scores! Timo Kibby Hallmey! And the assist to Timothy Lilligren as Kibby Hallmey got himself into a great spot. Here's McMaster out of the corner. Now Reed up there, he comes back to Dusak toward the goal, knocked down, rebound, side of the goal, stretching out his leg and hanging on, Spencer Martin, and now some aggressive negotiations behind the goal, and the linesmen are right involved in it, and diving in with uh, Pooley is Baraboule, and now they're tied up, and now Walcott comes in to defend Baraboule, and he continues to punch. Well, it's Barry Brule who starts all this as well. As Elena comes back to it, doesn't get it out. And it is Smith who steals it away, centers it back over, chance up front wall, scores Smith. Ties it up at one apiece with 2.32 remaining. And the formula works for the Syracuse Crunch. Wow, that was a great pass by Aberg, and Laredo just missed it. Smith brings it back across the line into the Toronto zone. Steps back, crossed up. Patan trying to get a stick to it as well. Here it comes to Gaunt. Long one scores. Gaunt found some contact out front, and the crunch goal to Taylor long. Radish. Wanted that goal, and it is picked up by Agostino. Less than 10 seconds to play. Tipped out front. Tender. And it comes back up as a Aberg plays it in out front by Korshkov. Oh, they had two players right there. And they couldn't find it. And the Syracuse Crunch take their two points back.